In a coma, a person's level of consciousness is considerably reduced. Much has been said about what happens to someone in this state. It is believed that they can hear the environment around them and that dreams mix with reality in a complex and confusing way. I don't have the right answer about what actually happens, but I can share a story that might very well change your perspective on the universe. This story involves the journey of a man while he was in a coma for six months. This is one of those stories whose veracity is uncertain, but it gained a lot of attention online. True or not, it carries a grand message about life and what it means to be alive. The story begins with the awakening of a man named John in a desert. There was no visible sun, but the stars illuminated the terrain in a surprising way. Stars that John had never seen so close, almost within reach of his hands. Not knowing where he was, John began to walk. He walked until he reached a mountain where despair began to take hold of him. Where was he? How did he end up there? Did someone kidnap him and leave him in the middle of nowhere? Amid the despair, John prayed, asking God to take him back to his wife and children. He had no clue what was happening, as there were no memories of the previous day or how he got there. John's situation began to change as he walked into the unknown. Suddenly, he found himself at a dinner with businessmen. Various pieces of information began to return to his mind. He remembered that his company had closed a big deal and that he had been promoted. Everyone was celebrating, but John didn't have time to process more memories because a helicopter landed in front of him, interrupting his thoughts. John ran towards the flying vehicle, hoping to be rescued, but what he saw left him shocked. The ship was much larger than it seemed at first glance. From it emerged two gigantic people, over three and a half meters tall, with gray hair. The eyes fixed on John made him afraid. A sound came from the mouth of one of them, a hum that passed through John's skull and turned into a question in his mind. John explained that he didn't know how he got there, and that he needed to return to his family. He asked for help, but the beings didn't seem to understand what he was saying. They didn't know what a cell phone was or where New York was. The being said he was in the Tunin Desert, and with no further interest in the conversation, they got into the ship and left at an impressive speed, leaving John alone again. John continued to walk, not knowing where to go. After another 30 minutes of walking, another ship approached. This time, a being descended and said that he knew where John was from, as he had visited Earth a few times to learn about human culture. The being, named Z, said that John was billions of light years from home. That was a shock to John, who was still trying to understand everything that was happening. Z explained that he had visited Earth 10,000 years ago and that at that moment there was no way for John to return. Desperate, John begged for a way to go back home. Z offered two options. The first was build his own ship. The reason for this was that they had learned from a superior being called God, who was the father of everyone there, that each must be responsible for their own path. With little choice, John decided to accept the help and learn how to build the ship. Z began to explain the difference between the species. He said that humans still needed to evolve a lot to reach the level of development of the beings on that planet. They had a greater concern for nature and lived in harmony without wars. Perhaps the most shocking information was the accusation that humans had crucified one of them millennia ago, a being sent to share knowledge. After teaching John to build the ship, Z said he was ready to leave. But before leaving, John remembered the second option and asked Z. He replied that John would have to trust him, close his eyes, and sleep. When John entered the vehicle, darkness took over until he opened his eyes again. To his surprise, he was lying in a hospital bed, connected to tubes and machines. The doctor appeared, immediately recognizing John, and began to explain the situation. After a tragic car accident, no one believed he would wake up, especially after six months in a coma. John experienced something that seemed extremely real. The memories of the time he was in a coma were vivid and striking. However, he knew those memories could be a much larger message. The doctor, called Z, left through the door and never returned. John got a new opportunity, and regardless of whether he believed in God or not, 
he knew he needed to make the most of his days. This experience had a profound impact on John. He began to reflect on his life and the choices he had made. He realized that many things he once considered important were trivial. The experience in the Tunan Desert, real or not, gave him a new perspective on what is truly valuable in life. John decided to take advantage of the second chance he received and live in a fuller and more meaningful way. Over time, John recovered physically, but the memories of what he experienced during the coma never left him. He began to value more the moments with his family and friends, to pay more attention to the small things in life, and to worry less about materialism. He felt he had learned valuable lessons about humility, patience, and gratitude. John also began to share his story with others. He believed that his experience could inspire others to reflect on their own lives and seek a greater purpose. His story, despite being full of mysteries and uncertainties, became a source of inspiration for many. The message he conveyed was clear. Life is precious, and we should make the most of it, regardless of the challenges and adversities we may face. John never knew if what he experienced during the coma was real or just an extremely vivid dream. But in the end, that didn't matter. What really mattered was the transformation he underwent and how it helped him become a better person. He began to live with more purpose and value each moment, always remembering the message he learned in the Tunin Desert. Thus, John's story serves as a powerful reminder that even in the most difficult situations, we can find meaning and purpose, and that sometimes the strangest and most inexplicable experiences can teach us the most important lessons. So, whether you believe in the veracity of John's story or not, the message is clear. Enjoy your days, value your experiences, and always seek the deeper meaning of life. I'll leave it at that. A big hug and take care.